What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it is Vlogmas Day 6. So, um, this is super exciting. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the I'm Cold makeup. So, I don't know, you've probably seen it all over TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, everywhere. It's gone viral. I'm going to be giving you guys a little tutorial. Um, I actually am going to be experimenting doing this while I'm filming. So, I actually haven't tried this. And you're going to see my real reaction doing this on camera. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking these gator clips. And I'm just going to clip my hair back so we have a full face ready and I already have my skin prepped and ready to try this so um yeah oh there's still a little piece hold on okay so the gator clips definitely look a little funny um but you know it just keeps the hair on my face my bangs and everything so let's get started alrighty guys so I'm back and I've gotten a few stuff out of my makeup closet right here and I laid it all on my countertop so let's just get started into this so I will be keeping these products um not too pricey some drugstore some you know high end some you know some a bunch of some, these things are from Ulta so they're pretty you know manageable pricing but yeah so I'm just gonna keep this super natural yet glowy and the I'm cold look so generally I start off in the mornings I do this moisturizer with the drunk elephant dew drops to give me a very tan glowy bronzy look but in the I'm cold makeup it kind of focuses on you know a little more glowy yet pale ish because you want to you know when you're cold you know more fair so um yeah i'm gonna skip that part but i'm gonna start off by going in with the elf hydrating camo concealer and we're just gonna do a little bit a little bit of this this is actually i just got for the video so it's super you know new like with the applicator there's still a lot on here so we're just gonna start off by going in with a little bit a little goes a long way with this um, and it's super blendable. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I also use the Glossier Stretch Concealer and let me tell you this for an affordable concealer this is one of my favorite and I'll be using this so much. Okay so generally you just blend with your hands. I like to go in with a concealer brush. I have to clean this um, but I'm just gonna you know go in there always build and bring up to give you kind of a like sleek facelift look and I just, you know, keep blending up like this. And I just kind of get, you know, the basic spreaded, not that blended yet, because I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. I know beauty blenders, you should not use them because they contain so much bacteria. But literally, I can't stop using it. It's, I've been using them for so long. And I just, they're such an essential part to me doing my makeup. So I'm just going to use it anyway. I have to clean this. Uh, but I do clean it like weekly, clean it probably more than that. Don't come for me in the comments. I know it's bad, but yeah. So I'm just going to blend this and make sure they're damp if you are using them. And this shade is lighter than my complexion. So it gives, you know, a bright under eye. Um, especially when I'm wearing the dew drops, it's super bright under my eyes. But right now, since I'm not, it kind of just blends well. Um... Kind of just giving a flawless finish. I do have a little friend here, so I'm going to take the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This is more of my skin tone, and I'm just going to put it there. And I love how this blends. I literally just blend it with my fingers. I love the finish and how buildable and easy these blend. Both of these concealers are my favorite. This one is a little more pricey than this one, but if you're looking for more high-end product, I would definitely go for the Glossier Stretch Concealer, but if you're looking for more drugstore, um, you know, not as pricey concealer, and if you're starting off, definitely go with the e.l.f. because they both are very similar, but very good and buildable. For powder, I'm going to go in with my new favorite powder, which is from Kylie Cosmetics. It's a translucent powder, and it's from Kylie Cosmetics, like I said. And I just take a little powder brush, you know, dip it in there, and I just go like this under my eyes both on this side and then also here a little on my forehead just why not my t-zone um but yeah so it's already giving that cold vibe a lot of it comes from the shimmers and everything that we're gonna put on so let's continue so if you want to do you know a skin tint i'm not really big on skin tints or foundations i don't really wear them i hate having a little 
I hate having to feel on my face that something is on my skin and it's kind of heavy. This one isn't heavy at all. This is literally a tinted moisturizer from Glossier. If I'm going to a dance or, you know, a party, I'll opt for this one because it's super lightweight, but I'm just, you know, filming a video, so I'm not going to put a skin tint on. But I do love this Glossier and it pairs perfectly with the two concealers that I showed you guys. Alright, so next I'm going to go with my new favorite blush, the Cream Blush from Fenty Beauty in the shade... Hey guys, sorry about that, I'm back. My dad's calling because he's getting lunch for us. Um, so, yeah, moving on, back to where I was. Uh, it's in the shade Petal Popping and I literally am obsessed with this blush. This pairs perfectly with the Dew Drops from Drunk Elf because they both give that glowy, you know, very shimmery look which I am obsessed with so I just take it with my finger I do with a brush sometimes but honestly I think it's better just doing with the, like your fingers and then blending it out with a beauty blender or a brush um, yeah I'm just putting it like that and then I put a little bit on my nose because the I'm cold makeup you know we gotta do like not a sun kiss look but you know a little W right here so we're just gonna blend this like this super pinky and super like this it's kind of giving sunburn but it's kind of giving cold like it can go either way but i feel like once i blend it guys okay, so i am back and i did the blush under my eyes but i think this is super subtle and super blended so i think i'm gonna go with a bit of a brighter blush just to put on top of it what we're working with i'm gonna go with the bare minerals gin nude um powder blush because this is super bright and buildable as well so we're just going to put this i think this color is really good oh yeah look at that we're just going to build that into the skin oh oh my gosh immediately yes this color i love these two together <gasps> no this is gorgeous i love blush oh my gosh you can't really tell on camera but in real life it's stunning stunning i love this so we're just going to continue building that on, and I actually am going to go in with the Jumbo NYX stick. A lot of times people do this in their inner corners with the white shade, but I think I'm going to do this for a little blush highlight thing. I'm just going to put this here. You know, why not? It's pink. I think it'll blend well. Um, we're just going to blend this upward. I'm so like, oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to continue. So now we are going to go in with the Morphe 2. I literally, I, I'm obsessed with all these products. That's why I keep buying it all. But I'm recommending these to you guys because I'm really, I'm really obsessed with these. This is my favorite, favorite highlighter. I am obsessed with this. I love how it's pinky and shimmery. So I'm just going to put that on the tip of my nose. Put that here. I love this. I'm actually so obsessed with this. Okay. This makeup actually looks so good. I might do this more often. No. And we're going to go in with this because the I'm Cold Makeup has a bunch of shimmery eyes. So we're just going to put this, and my camera's literally about to die, so hopefully it just stays for the video. We're just going to put this on the eyes. Like so. And that does give some shimmer, but if you really want to build up that shimmer, it's the Petal Passion from Morphe Palette. This really, the shades are so pigmented, so it comes with these. Um, I think we're going to go in the shade Say No More, because this one's super, like, look at the difference. You know, so it's super, super better. I'm going to come back to you guys. Yeah, guys, so moving on, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow, if I can get this open. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the last shade on this one. This one is the palette Rose Water, which I really like these colors. When I travel, I bring this one. I just got it from Target, and I brought it to Miami when I went. But when I opened it, um, the other time that I used it, I kind of punctured my thumb through one of the shades. But it's a fine. It still works. So I'm going to go in with this one. I really love this for eyeshadow lately. And I just kind of do like a little... Kind of little... So, you know, when you put on mascara if you want to, then it gives it a little more volume. So, like I said, e.l.f. has been a really good, um, you know, inexpensive brand for makeup. So, I'm going to go in with the brow gel. This is my literal favorite brow gel. Um, I use this whenever I do my makeup because it really just, you know, lifts your brows. Now, we're going to go in with the lip, and I think I'm going to take this lipstick, and I'm just going to go... 
in the inner. I would go in with the Benefit, like Benetton, but I left that in Florida. So we're just gonna go like that in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go in with the Jumbo Stick again and put it right here. Then the Maybelline uh, Lifter Gloss has also gone viral for being, you know, an inexpensive drugstore product, which I'm obsessed with. And I'm just gonna put this over. Alright you guys, so I added this little headband. This is really what completes the look. Um, but here's how it turned out. Super shimmery eyes, lips, face, everything super dewy and glowy. I am so happy on how this turned out. I think I will definitely repeat this in the future. Comment down below if you've ever tried the I'm Cold makeup look or if you're going to try it after this video. And let me know what you guys think of it. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for Vlogmas Day 7 tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys! It's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas.